I have so many butterflies right now on the side of my house. You probably ain't going to be able to pick them all up, but the ones that are away from the plant, I can maybe show you. So cool. I've counted at least eight or nine. Oh, here comes one. <laughs> Whoa, that one flew right by me. That is so awesome. Different kinds, too. So, so cool. my wife was getting ready to make uh, kimchi out of this Napa cabbage, but in our little fridge, can you see the line right there? This is completely solid, frozen, <laughs> frozen solid. So she can't use this head for cabbage or for uh, kimchi, so I decided give it to the chickens. It's frozen, it's nice and cold on a warm day. They won't mind. Actually, let me throw it. Let me throw it into there. Rather a compost in there. Oh yeah. So I'm watching my neighbor's chickens when they're in Chicago. So let's give them a little cabbage and a piece of bread. Hey girls. Yeah, look at these pretty girls. They're pretty. You some bread. It's bread. You guys can eat it. They've never had bread before, I don't think. <laughs> so I'll put a couple pieces in there for them. They'll get to that cabbage too when we're gone, probably. They're pretty. Yeah. Talking. <laughs> All right, eat up. What's up everyone, Rich at Rivera Urban Homestead. Behind me is gonna be our project for the weekend. We're gonna clean out all the wood that's stashed behind the chicken coop. We're gonna rake that ground we're going to find every little bag of soil, black cow manure, anything I have here. We're going to mix it all together. We're going to lay it out there. And we're going to plant the chickens a pasture right over there. So that is the video for this week. Chicken pasture growing. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. But let me show you something not so awesome. Remember the cucumbers I planted in these uh, trunks here? Well. Guess what? I totally just forgot to water them, guys. They were growing good, so the experiment of will they grow there is still not concluded because I just didn't water them. Now, there was one over here that still was alive, so I watered it yesterday. So we'll see if that one keeps going. Other one over there, I just didn't water. Totally spaced it out. So. The cucumber experiment, we're going to have to try again when I remember. I really have to get a garden hose that works out here so that I have access to water easily. Because then I just forget. Banana plants are looking good. Look at these guys. Look at this big one. Whoa. He's getting big. Remember the huge one I had last year before the hurricane broke it? Well, let's see if these do anything. So hey, you ready for a chicken pasture full of all different clovers and all different kinds of seeds to eat? Hopefully we can keep the birds out of it. Not the chickens, the wild birds. <laughs> you relaxing? <laughs> so anyway, this is the area I'm talking about. We're going to get all this crap out of here. And once I pull all this out, I'll let the chickens rummage around under there because there's going to be a lot of roaches and worms and stuff so they're gonna have a good snack once I unveil what's under there but this whole area here we're gonna rake up we're gonna put down some amendments and then we are going to hold on my brother's calling okay I'm back so like I said amendments and then we're gonna seed it I need to get a hose long enough to reach over here to where I can put a sprinkler system over here so that they can uh, 
you know, so the seeds can germinate. And all I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to move this gate, this big gate right here. I'm going to move it on this side of their entrance. That way, when I open it up, all they can do is go over there. They cannot come over on this side. That way, the seeds will have time to obviously grow and germinate. What are you two doing? Do you like my shoe that much? Golly. Are you happy? Let's get this wood out of the way so we can see what's under here. All right, look at that, nice and cleaned out. That's gonna be the area that we sow our seeds. And look, and now, look what I have in the middle of my backyard area. Uh, I think we're gonna be having a fire like we did that one time and just burn everything I have in here, get it all done. Dig that out, get the fire going. Cut this stuff up little by little with the reciprocating saw and we're gonna have us a fire. Not today though, it is already over 90 degrees. I don't wanna mess with a fire. That's what I was talking about. That's why I'm letting the chickens hang out because now they're gonna dig around in there and find all this beautiful insects that have been hiding out under this. So, bon appetit. It's kind of hard to see in the shadow, but that is so cleaned out already. They like moved all the debris out of the way. It's just beautiful soil. They're having fun. All right, guys, so after I moved all the wood and all that crap, man, I didn't do anything the rest of the day. I went to Lowe's and got some stuff I'll show you in the morning, but let's see how they did over here. Look at this. <laughs> Are you happy? Look at how they just tilled it all up. Look at that, it's beautiful. Tomorrow we'll just lay it flat a little, rake up some of this straw out of the way, put all the, I think I might just put all the soil right there in the center and let the chickens till it down, mix it in, stuff like that. But look at this, just totally clean that soil out. That's amazing, they love it. You leave some pieces of wood, leave a little wood pile, or even just a flat piece of wood, a piece of rock, a log, whatever. And every once in a while you just turn them around and they really enjoy that. Going to work. That soil looks good in there too, man. The chicken prairie. <laughs> Alright, y'all enjoy. So anyway, it's 6.15. Yeah, I moved all that stuff. We went to Lowe's. I got a few things there. But I really didn't do much the rest of the day, I, except think about what I need to do this weekend. I have a lot going on, so it's cool. And I'm off Monday, so I got a three-day weekend. Hopefully I post something tomorrow, or upload something tomorrow on YouTube. But if not, it will might be Monday afternoon if I'm continuing on it like a little three-day vlog while I'm off. But right now what I'm doing is some pork tenderloins. I'm going to put them on the grill indirect. First I'm going to sear them up on the... Sorry, I just heard some noise. Um, first thing I'm going to do is sear them up right over the grill. Get some nice sear marks on them. Then I'm going to move them over indirect for about 20 minutes or so. Let me show you how they look. Oh yeah, looking good. What I did is I mustered them just like I do with my ribs and I actually used leftover um, dry rub from the last batch of ribs I made. If anyone wants the dry rub recipe for the ribs that I use, just let me know and I will uh, give it to you. But those are about to go right here, get nice and hot. Some sear marks real quick. Moved over to here, lid put on, and slow cook for about 25 minutes. So, let's get them on. Oh yeah, let them sear up a little and then we'll move them over to indirect. 
All right, flipped them over. Now they're about to go to indirect heat. Chicken sees something. They're both looking up like, what's up there? I just woke up. I was wondering where my little Tyler was. He's out there playing with the chickens. <laughs> all right well good morning it is sunday morning about 9 30. let's go round up all the different soils that i have that we're going to put on the area we're going to plant the chicken prairie Wow, just by doing that, whew, already sweating. Anyway, let me show you what I'm gonna do with it. First thing I gotta do is rake up this area a little. Now I'm just gonna kinda level it out a little. Okay, so this is the area I'm gonna grow the seeds in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pile up all those bags of soil right in the center. And then I'm gonna let the chickens work it in for me today. Let's leave it there and see if the chickens work it in for us. You girls ain't doing a very good job. You're supposed to move that pile for me and spread it out around the coop. Instead, you're going to lay an egg probably. And you are in the same spot you guys were in yesterday. So much for the help. We'll leave it a little bit longer and see if they do anything with it. If not, We'll spread it and we'll move on to the next step. What if I put a little bit of bird seed on top of it? Maybe that'll entice them. <laughs> it might work. I went and grabbed the camera from out there because they weren't messing with it. The second I bring the camera inside and leave them alone, there they are. So, they're eating all the wild feed off of there, but I think it'll spawn them to start digging around. And then, hopefully, they will spread it out for me. Get to work, girls. It's too hot out there for me right now. Alright guys, so while we wait for the chickens to hopefully spread out that soil for me, let me show you what I got to plant for the uh, pasture. <clears throat> I went to, well, come in here and I'll show you a little closer. So I just did a Google search for pasture seeds and I got this one place, Nature's Seed, Pasture Seed. And gives you a little different ones, how to prepare the bed and all that good stuff. But these are all the different options that they have. They have seed blends for bison, dairy cows, regular cows, goats, sheep, tortoises, honeybees. I mean, they really have a total a wildlife food plot seed for elk and upland game. So that's pretty cool. They have all different kinds of things. The one I got is called the Florida Tropics Poultry Forage. Perfect, right? So, and it comes in this cool little bag. Okay, just this nice little cloth bag, nature seed. That's all I got, and it was, uh, I mean, the seed was 12 bucks and like six bucks for shipping. So it cost me under $20. And inside, let me see if I can show it to you. There's just uh, all different kinds of seed in there. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. It'll be enough to do that area that I'm doing, but I'm also adding some stuff to it. Let me tell you what's in it first. 
red clover, common flax, buckwheat, I can barely read it, a, a, a white clover, alsic clover, crimson clover, so it has a lot of different clovers in it, and flaxseed and um, buckwheat. What I'm going to be adding to it is just leftover microgreen seeds that I don't even know if they're going to germinate or not, but we're going to put them out there. So I have lettuce, sea fresh lettuce. That's going in the mix. I have a little red clover myself, so I'll add that. I have a little brown flax, so I'll add that as well. Golden Acre Cabbage. Why not? And Premier Kale. And I have a sack of wheatgrass still that I'm going to incorporate out there as well. So all different kinds of seeds in here, guys, we're going to plant up. Okay. It is very hot out right now. Um, like I said, it's probably 10 o'clock, maybe 10.30. And it's definitely over 90 already. With the humidity, I'm sure it feels like 100 and something. Um, so I'm trying to let them work that soil in as much as possible. We'll go out there a little later. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to drive to the beach and see how the water conditions are looking. I really like fishing on the weekends, and I haven't been able to fish. Well, this is the third weekend now I haven't been able to fish so far. We have red tide around, which is like a bacteria that comes in with this red seaweed. Makes your throat all itchy and makes you cough. Kills a lot of fish in the shore area, so we got to wait till that clears out before we can get back out there. So I'm going to go check it out today. You know, I like to fish. I like to try and catch my own fish. I have a resource three miles down the road, which is called the Gulf of Mexico. So I want to try and take advantage of it, you know. But I'm off tomorrow. That's when I was planning on being out there fishing all day. So I'm going to go check the water conditions now and see what it looks like. All right, guys, change of plans. We're not going to go to the beach right now. Um, I forgot that we're supposed to be getting, like, chance of rain is supposed to be, like, 80% today. So I see some clouds coming in. I looked on the weather. They said by about 1 o'clock it's jumping up to about 60% chance of rain. So we don't have time to wait for the chickens to do anything with that. Got to go spread it. I want to get it planted out before the rain comes. That'll be perfect for it. So let's get back to work and then maybe we'll take a ride to Look the Look at the beach. dinosaurs emerging from the woods. <laughs> they love it back there, man. That's their little jungle. They just go hide out, sleep. Anyway, we got to get this spread out. Oh, now you want to help? All right, you can help me for a little bit. Look at these goons. Now they want to start messing with it. Well, let's let them play for a little bit, guys. I'm sorry. Let's just, uh, I'll speed it up and see what they do for us. As they're goofing around, look at their little walkways they have. Right through there. Then they go hang out back there. They have little spots back in here. But this is totally great coverage for them. They just go in here, man, and have a ball. Look at this old school Florida right here, man. Look at these palmettos. Old school Florida. You like it in here, huh? It's great for in the summertime because it just protects them from the heat. They get to cool off down in there. They love it. Jungle birds. All right, okay, I just work. had to locate my water shutoff cover that's un buried in the dirt. So I got that located. So now we'll throw this stuff all around it. All right, so this is the area, guys, we're going to lay that seed in. We're going to try and grow that little prairie right back here behind the coop. 
and they still have all this. Now they won't have access to this though unless I fenced this whole thing off, which I don't really want to do. So they're going to just be going over on that side and um, we're going to keep them over there when they get out to forage until this grows up. Then we'll let them in it. So now we got to coax them out of there and get them into the other side so we can close this off. How am I going to do that? Hmm, let's try wild bird seed bag. <laughs> Alright, so that worked. They're back over there. Close that. Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to work. I was just thinking because now they can't get into the coop freely. So I'm going to have to cut off the bands that zip ties on the fence. And I'm going to have to move the fence over to this side. Before I do all that gate shifting, let me just see if that board right there will keep them uninterested. I do have another board a little bit taller if I need to. We'll just block it off like that and make it easy on myself. Oh man, I just moved a big old log that was hollowed out and the bark was coming off of it. There were so many beetles and roaches in it, man. The chickens were going nuts. They ate good. Anyway, let's sow this field here. I'm going to start with some of the wheatgrass. Did everywhere the wheatgrass. Now for the specialty blend. Look at all those colors. Probably overdone it, but that's alright. We're just going to use it all, guys. And I'll put some out here just for the heck of it. Alright, that's it. So I did have to modify, just that board alone wasn't going to do it. The chickens were already jumping up on that log and up on it. So now I just put the chain link piece just right behind it. So that'll keep them all out of there. It looks like it's about to start raining here pretty soon. The skies are getting all gray and stuff. So I'll be just like a farmer, man. You plant your field and then you hope it rains. But I think we got a pretty good chance of that happening. Okay guys, so we got that done nice and early this morning. I've already sweat plenty today. I went and took a shower already because it was just hot and nasty. But let me show you a couple of things I got at Lowe's, like I said. I bought a little bag of Bermuda grass seed. That patch in front of the banana plants that is starting to grow now that the chickens are locked in the back area. I want to mow that down, I want to throw some grass seed there and just maybe get a nice patch of grass in front of the banana area. I got a new nozzle and a hundred foot hose. So now this, I have a, a hose um, water spout on the side of the garage. I'm going to hook this up there and then this will be in the backyard. Now I'll have water access all the way back to the chickens, back by the dragon fruit, the orange trees, and the new field in case I have to water it. So we got a new hose, that's awesome. And I also bought this. This is Olympic Rescue It Max. It is a deck protector, so I'm going to get my brother's pressure washer. I'm going to pressure wash off my wooden porch deck out there. And I'm putting this stuff on it, man. 
and it'll be nice new coated. There's the color, it's like a tan or a brown. So, so that's going to make that porch look really nice, make it over. Maybe we'll want to sit out there, it'll be more inviting. So there you have it. We didn't get out to the beach today. Tyler's getting ready to take a nap, but I might drive out there and just look and see if there's a bunch of dead fish in the water quality. But we planted our chicken field, so let's see if that works, right? That's cool. And I'm so glad I got that water hose. That's gonna be so nice out back there. Anyway, I might do a video tomorrow because I'm by myself tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I might mow that and plant the grass seed pressure wash the deck maybe I don't know but if I don't see you tomorrow I'll definitely see you next weekend you guys have a good week now this is a beautiful way to water in that new chicken field back there guys oh yeah there has been some awesome lightning and thunder it's just been I love thunderstorms man I'm gonna go hang out in the garage, drink a beer, and just relax.